Our guest today is uh, Bhavan Thirakya, serial entrepreneur, billionaire. He started off at a young age, pretty much in his teens. Look at the company he's founded from Flock, Radix, Coach Chef, Zeta, which recently became a unicorn. And he's got a new venture, hoping to disrupt email as we know it. Bhavan, welcome to the show. It's always a pleasure talking to you. You're looking at disrupting email. What is all of this about? Thanks. Thanks, Nantara. Uh, appreciate you welcoming me. Uh, so, you know, e- we have um, like 6 billion email accounts on the planet. And email is actually today the most ubiquitous means of communication. You can pretty much reach anybody across the globe um, with an email address. And, and most other communication mediums are not open standards. You know, you need to be within that, whether it's Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. Uh, but email is ubiquitous. Um, about one and a half billion people across the globe use email regularly for business. And, and I would wager that there's you know more business conducted via email than any other communication me- mechanism. And yet, if you think about it, even till today, the tools that we use for business email are exactly the same ones that we use for personal mail, in spite of the fact that actually needs for businesses are completely different. Um, and so, you know, two years ago, we set out with this sort of ambition goal of really creating and building a uh, email product from scratch meant specifically for working professionals and businesses. It's called Titan. Uh, and it's got features and capabilities that go beyond just your conventional mail. So you've got all the stuff that you you know have in a conventional email account, but a bunch of other interesting features that make your life easier in terms of you know organizing mail, in terms of uh, um, accessing email, in terms of you know reaching the right document or the right content, et cetera, in terms of replying, in terms of communicating with customers. A uh, bunch of features that make it much more easier for businesses and professionals to actually use email on a day-to-day basis. You know, Pavan, it's uh, fascinating that we're talking about email. Uh, you know, I understand, of course, it's very, very important, but we're also in the era of like instant communication, instant messaging and all of that. So when you talk to me about making email more relevant for businesses, what kind of tools, what kind of features, how will it be different? Sure. So to your first point, I will say that, you know, every mode of communication has its place. Um, the way I think about instant messaging is it is short synchronous messages that are really relevant for immediate updates, immediate decision making and so on and so forth. But at the same time, there is a need for long form asynchronous communication, which is reflective, which is, you know, well thought through, which is... Um, which affords the relevant time for parties to sort of respond. Uh, And so each of these modes of communication kind of, you know, um, coexist for different, different needs. Um, In terms of features and capabilities, we have, um, um, so some of the interesting stuff that we have is we have this uh, automated follow-up reminder. So whenever you send an email, let's say to a customer with a business proposal, and the customer doesn't respond in, let's say, two or three days, you can configure the platform to sort of automatically remind you to follow up with them if they don't reply. Um, we have something called schedule send where um, if you want if you want to send out an email, you want it to sort of reach the other person at a specific time. Let's say you're sending an email to somebody and you want it to be in his inbox first thing on Monday morning. Oh. Um, you can actually schedule your email and it'll actually arrive exactly at that particular point in time. Uh, we have saved templates where you can pre-create, um, you know, in business, you constantly send the same snippets and the same emails for different different customers and inquiries. You can save these as templates and you can automatically send them across. So there's all these sort of interesting capabilities. And, and this is just the beginning. We've, you know, we've, we've got a, a series of other interesting capabilities lined up um, that will actually make it easier for, uh, for businesses and professionals to communicate with their customers, vendors, and, and, and for work purposes. And in fact, you know, since the pandemic, we have been hearing about how email, whether, you know, it's a Gmail or Outlook or whatever you might look at it, uh, needs to reinvent itself. And what we've also seen in the last one year are our new email suites that have been coming out. For example, your superhuman, you know, again, by an entrepreneur of Indian origin, it's considered to be overpriced at $30 a month. Can I ask you what your subscription is going to be? Well, our subscription, we actually already have 100,000 subscribers and, uh, um, close to about 70% uh, them are paid um, as of today. Um, our subscription fee for our platform is uh, is somewhere between two to four dollars per user per month. So you know, not not the superhuman range. Uh, certainly, it's much more accessible. Um, and as of today, we're, we're mostly selling Titan through partners. Um, and so um, so we've got you know Automatic who invested in us. Um, it's a company that runs WordPress.com. They are uh, partners of ours and, and provide Titan to all of their customers. 
So it's more of an enterprise solution and not, um, you know, for entrepreneurs or anybody who wants it. Actually, no. So, so obviously, the platform, the the solution, Titan, was created for pretty much any working professional, uh, whether it's a small business or enterprise. Uh, but to be honest, we're actually focused on selling it right now to small and micro businesses. So most of our clients are uh, solopreneurs, um, you know, freelancers, small companies with less than five or ten employees. Uh, th that's right now majority of our clientele, and that's the audience we're focused on to start with. And then, you know, obviously, it's available to uh, pretty much anybody. And Bhavin, there has been a big fundraise uh, by Automatic that owns uh, WordPress. Uh, tell us about that. Um, absolutely. So, you know, I have a huge respect for uh, well, everybody knows WordPress. WordPress has an open source um, software and a content management system. It's used by 42% of the websites in the world. Um, huge respect for Matt, Matt Mullenweg, who's actually a founder and uh, original founder of sort of WordPress, the open source um, uh, version. Uh, WordPress also has a commercial company called Automatic, um, which runs WordPress.com. And it's one of the largest um, WordPress website uh, uh, providers, web, WordPress hosting providers in the world. And um, so they partnered with us both on a strategic front. Um, they've invested 30 million into Titan um, at a $300 million valuation. And they've also uh, they've also entered into a strategic commercial relationship where today um, anybody, so they have hundreds of millions of free users and, and um, millions of paid users and, and they made Titan available to sort of all of their user base.